everybody, this is the awesome MCB here, and welcome back to another antivirus review. So, uh, today we're going to be looking at Kaspersky Internet Security. Now, um, the reason I chose this version out of, like, Total Defense, as well as the free one, is because this is, like, the main paid antivirus out of, like, the three versions. Well, typically, yes, Kaspersky Free is free, but it's just the main version that has, like, everything, and... Pretty much the average person gets is the internet security one so yeah so let's go ahead and just get right into this test so first of course the interface is pretty clean uh, not seeing any issues there at all as you can see here nothing has been tampered with and the anti-banner and the anti-spam is disabled by default so nothing really to say about there at all and we're yeah just pretty simple um, let's go ahead and check for updates and okay now everything is up to date so yeah um, let's just go ahead and get started with this test so as usual I got the uh, five links just got these just now uh, let's see what we got to start here with so start with the first link here First one is blocked. Second one is blocked. That one is blocked. That one is blocked. And that one was blocked. So, very impressive. It got a clean sheet on the on the URL test. So, let's go ahead and now disable the protection and I'll go get some samples. Alright, so now we have the samples. We have 98 items. But remember, this is a huge con concentration of ransomware, as usual. So let's just go ahead and just do a right-click scan. Like usual, it looks like it's scanning inside of zip folders that could be in there. Unless it doesn't have any. I mean, I think all these are applications. Yeah, these are all applications, so it looks like one file can contain multiple files inside of it. All right, so that scan actually did take a while. Um, so it says the uh, one object was disinfected, 96 deleted, one object was not processed. So not really sure which one wasn't processed. Nope, I'm not seeing what I could do there. But anyway, so let's go ahead and see how much is left in here. Uh, we got 36 items, but it looks like a lot of these have been disinfected. So, let's go ahead and just get rid of all the ones that ha are, are have been disinfected. You can tell this one's disinfected because this doesn't have this big tag like this one does. So, let's go ahead and just find all the ones that were infected. So we had 98 items, so let's just go ahead and do a little bit of math here. So we have 96 over the 98. And that is a detection ratio of about 98%, which is very impressive. So let's go ahead and let's turn back on the main, the main shields again. And then let's see what we go on here. Let's see what is this saying right here. Hmm. There's nothing there that says that there's that legitimate program. It must have been something we have deleted. Or, or it has deleted. So, let's go ahead. We got our main shields back up. And let's go ahead. Let's launch these two and see if they do anything. Hmm. Looks like it failed to run. Hmm. 
Hmm. It's getting pretty far. Preparing setup. I'm wondering what the setup is for. Oh! And there it goes. Yeah, so it looks like those fail to run, so... Yeah, I'm pretty sure that this computer is completely clean, but we'll go ahead, we'll just do a second opinion scanner anyway. Second opinion scanners are complete. MC Softy Major Emergency Kit didn't find anything, neither did Malware Bytes. And the reason I'm not using Savannah and I'm using MC Soft Emergency Kit is because the mana, re the, let's just say recent tests haven't been that well, so it's not really the best second opinion scanner to work with anymore, so. But, however, uh, Hitman Pro did find something suspicious, but it looks like it's something in the Windows directory, so I don't know if that's Windows itself or if that was actu an actual piece of malware that was inside of the, inside that folder that one of those two executed, it put something in there, but. It doesn't say there's any threats, but, you know. So, what can I say? Um, I didn't really expect anything more from Kaspersky. Kaspersky is a, a really well one out there. If you don't know which one you're looking for, this one is not a bad choice. So, yeah. So, I hope you all have enjoyed it. And if you have enjoyed this test, be sure to hit that like button down below. And if you're new around, around here, be sure to hit that subscribe button. And I will see you all later.